These are Magic and Finn, the Great Danes Unleashed. Don't want a goofy poodle with a pedigree, no whiny wimpy little pooch, don't you see? The great big dog's the only one for me, then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a boy. Oh, he's so sweet. That's what Finn does. Now he's really fixing to my Just being good boys. Looking around to make sure none of all of the neighbor's dogs are out loose. No. Finn. No. Not attached to anything and I think they're happy just to chill in the shade but if they start to run I've got about 30 feet on Finn 15 feet on magic I can always catch them all right more showing off stay stay Down. Finn. Down. Down, down, down. <laughs> there you go. That's good, boys. And... No, no, this way, this way. Wherever I tell him to go, he just charges in that direction. This way. No, this way. This way. No, Finn, this way. Hey, this way. Good boy. I know I should make up my mind. Finn, let's go this way. Come on. He immediately started eating grass, so that tells me he wants to throw up. And so he starts eating grass, and then he does what we call a grass tamale, where he does vomit.
Yeah. I've probably shown you guys this before, but here I am just hanging out, changing after my bike ride. And magic, it's five minutes to one. He is like a clock. Do you want to eat? Oh, you do. Okay. Don't start drooling. Only one scoop at lunch, guys. Just one scoop. Sit. Good boy. Go ahead. That's it. Okay. Hi, Finn. You know, it's lunchtime, but you don't care, do you? Get your toy. Get your toy. Get a toy, Finn. Hi, Magic. Always something in his mouth. Let go. Good boy. Okay, we'll try for one catch, please. And he did it. Ah, oh, good job. That's a good boy, Finn. And Finn, if you were paying attention, Finn is really all better on his side. I've got two dogs here. Anyway, he's looking real good. Ready? Stay, stay. Is he gonna grab it? He's gonna grab it. <sighs> Turns out Finn has a really nasty ear infection. So nasty. The first few swipes really delivered some massive, nasty irritation in the ear. So now we're gonna go in with a rinse uh, today we're using the EpiClean Ear Cleanser. You just squirt a little on the thing, on the napkin. And now we get fit to turn over so I can get that ear. And we're going right in. Oh, is this the bad ear? Yeah, Finn. Oh. He doesn't mind it. Can you get the picture? I don't like that. Yeah, oh. Oh, listen to him. He's groaning in joy. Listen, he loves it. See, no complaints about an ear getting cleaned out. Feels good. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's big time groaning. Go on, Magic, you're jealous. Go on. And then here, can you get a shot of that? So, the ear is dirty. Okay, go back in for a little more. Cleaning out of the ear. He likes this part. He's not going to like this next part. That's the best I can do. Now here comes the drops. So here we just have some uh, Mometamox. And we do four or five drops. I know you know what this is. So <clears throat> I like to try and get this right down in the ear canal, which is not where he wants it. Oh, he says that tickles. And then we just massage it in. Anyway, that's Ear Care 101 for a Great Dane. Thanks, Ben. You're a good boy. Yeah. Good boy, Ben. Good boy. Good boy, Magic. Good boy. Oh, everyone wants to try and take a nap.
It is. Looks really good. Great energy. Mr. Proper Leg Crosser. Magic. Yeah, buddy. You're a good boy. Just this good. 